mention my name is Irfan Patel. So I am here to briefly talk about the rare diseases and special needs awareness campaign. What does a rare disease mean? Good. It's not something which is not very common, right? That's why we call it rare disease. Okay. So basically, this rare disease is not very common, and obviously, when it's not very common, what happens is there is no research or no treatment or there is no cure available to, to treat those those rare conditions, right? And if you look at the statistics here, one there is a one in ten chance that you might know someone who has a rare medical condition. You might not know directly, but indirectly you will know once you get through this, you will come to know, oh, you know what, yes, I think I know someone who has a rare condition. I was talking in another school this morning and they said, one of the office administrator, she said she had a rare condition and none of, none of the folks who worked there knew until this morning. So one in ten chances that you might know someone who has a rare condition. Obviously, it's very difficult to get a clear diagnosis, right, because the information is so limited, so there is no cure, so there is no treatment, and the person who is afflicted with this rare condition feels isolated and they feel that they are, they are very lonely, right, because they can't really share this with anyone else, because no one else can understand what this rare condition is all about. And then, the other statistics that's very mind-boggling is two-thirds of the people who have this rare condition are who? They are children, right? Children like you. So two-thirds of the people who have this rare condition are children. So that's what is very mind-boggling about these rare conditions. And then there are about 7,000 rare diseases as classified in the National Organization of Rare Disease Statistics. So there are about 7,000 rare conditions. In some, in some cases, the number of people who are diagnosed with those rare medical conditions are as low as one in the whole country. You will see two stories. In the second story, there's a, there's, a, there's a woman, her name is Lizzie, and you'll get to see the clip in a few minutes from now. Her condition is so rare, only three people in the whole country has that condition. So that's how rare it is. And many of the time, these rare conditions are are genetic in nature, meaning it's hard to decipher, it's hard to uh, uh, find a cure, so there's a lot of research going on in, in finding a solution. So out of those 7,000 classified rare diseases, since 1983, more than 2,200 of those rare conditions have, are now in the research pipeline because of all the awareness campaign that has been happening since 1983. So out of 7,000 rare conditions, 2,200 of them are in the research pipeline. That doesn't mean anything. I mean, there is a good, it's a good progress, right? So, at least research is going on, but still no treatment and no cure. Now, the question is, why do we talk about these rare conditions? Why do we, why are we doing this rare, uh, rare uh, disease awareness campaign? It's because we want to, when we grow up, we want to become an empathetic and compassionate person. Right? So that's what our deen is all about, that's what our, our, our religion is all about, right? Let me ask you a question. Do you think cold, cough and cold, do you think it's a rare condition? No, it's very common, right? How about fever? No, because it's very common. So basically if you have a fever, you go to a doctor's office and the doctor knows how to treat it, right? So in rare conditions what happens is, first of all, it's very rare and the second feature of a rare, rare disease characteristic is there is no treatment, there is no cure available. So like I said, rare condition has three characteristics. No treatment available, right? It's very uncommon. And the third one is, it's genetic in most of the cases, right? Have you heard of, you have, in Manson? Crohn's Crohn's disease, yes. So that's a rare condition. And uh, have you heard of Down syndrome? Yes, Down syndrome is a rare condition. Yes, so basically, I mean, any missing DNA, right, uh, any missing chromosome, that would result in a, in, a, in a rare medical condition. That's why it's, it's genetic in nature. So, autism, 
Although now they're talking about declassifying it from the rare condition because it's become so common, but there are certain uh, autism has a wide, broad spectrum, right? So depending on what kind of uh, extreme you are at, that could be classified as a rare condition. And then I know of a rare condition that my kids have is called methylmelanic acidemia, so it's an organic acidemia condition. And actually, ah, you you know my son Yusuf, right? So he has a condition. So again, that's genetic. It has a missing chromosome. And that's what causes uh, causes these uh, these rare conditions. Okay, so now what I would like to share with you is, despite all these challenges, right, all these difficulties in their lives, there were two stories that I would like to share with you, where two individuals with this rare medical condition were able to work around these challenges and and do something positive. So I think once seeing this, we we'll, we we'll, we'll learn two lessons. The first one is obviously, irrespective of whatever roadblock you have, there is a way to overcome those, those roadblocks. And the second thing, obviously, is we have to be thankful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for all the blessings that He has bestowed upon us. Okay, always find a way to overcome challenges and then show compassion, show empathy towards those less fortunate. And now, the next segment, I would like to do some role playing skits here maybe like a couple of them okay angelina and ashraf so what you will do is so angelina can you so i want you to close your eyes right and walk all the way over there keep eyes closed Okay, so now Angelina, I want to ask you something. The first time you walked with the eyes closed, right? What did you feel? The first time when you walk with your eyes closed. Right? What did you feel? Very comfortable walking? No. No, right? Because you were always conscious that you might hit into something. Yes. Yes? And how about the second time when you had Mariam help you? I felt better. Exactly. She felt better, right? So what, what does this teach us? First of all, now you understand what it looks like to, to have no vision. Right? Yes. Exactly. And the second thing is, with little help, we can elevate the difficulties and challenges faced by these people. Okay? Okay, let's give a big round of applause for Mariam and Anthony. Okay. Adam and Taha. Okay. Now, Adam, what we'll do is, I want you to hop on one foot all over. On the road. Yeah. Now they can keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Don't close your eyes. Okay. Pop all the way back. Okay, you can slow down. Go ahead. You are not doing the race here, okay? Okay, now Taha. Now Adam will keep popping, but I want you to support him on the other side. I think whichever side you are comfortable with. Okay? Oh, support him like real support. Yeah, Okay, turn it on. Okay, good job. Thank you. Okay, now the first time you hop, right? Without any support, how did you feel? It felt like my legs were dirty. <laughs> and it um, felt like I was about to fall. Yeah, good. So basically you were very uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Okay. Now the second time when Taha was supporting you, helping you, how did you feel? I felt better. And I felt like I had more support. So I could I felt like I had two legs. 
Good, great, awesome. That's a good comment. So he, he felt like he had two legs. So now you understand the, the day in the life of a child who has no leg, right? Or, or who has no, no arms. And now with little support, it can go a long way in helping those, those people, right? Okay, good. Round of applause for Adam and Tom. Okay, now the last kid. What's her name? Yusuf. Okay, Yusuf? Yeah, yeah. Yusuf and Yahya. That's a beautiful name. So come here. Now what you will do is... Okay, I want you to take out the, uh, the rubber band using just one hand. Oh, he's fast, okay. <laughs> Normally we do the exercise of tying a knot, so I want to keep it simple. Okay, now, maybe we should tie a knot. You want to tie a knot? With one hand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, yeah. You want to help him? Tie a knot. Okay, just almost a knot. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so now Yusuf, the first time you try to tie a knot, right, with one hand, were you able to do that? No. No, right? So, impossible. Yeah. Impossible, yeah. Now, the second time when Yahya was helping you, were you able to accomplish it? Yes. Yes? Okay, so now what do you learn from this little exercise? Well, before I had to. So now you can really put yourself in the shoes of a person who has only one hand, one, one leg, right? Yes. And then with the help of another person, Yahya in this case, you were able to accomplish it. So again, the message is even a small help, little help goes a long way in elevating the sufferings of these, these children. Okay, good. Now the last slide here I have. Okay, one round of applause for Yahya and Yusuf. Okay, now the concluding remarks. Again, why do we do these kind of awareness campaigns? Right? Again, to show compassion to the needy. So, again, the reason we do these awareness campaigns is to, to make sure we we show compassion to these people, right? And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the help He has given to all of us, for all His blessings. Okay? Now, before I close, remember at the beginning of the, of the session I said there is a 1 in 10 chances that you might know someone who has a special need. Right? Who knows someone? Who thinks has a rare, 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 I mean, don't don't say the name of the medical condition. Just raise your hands. Okay. See. Yeah. Exactly. So after all, rare disease is not so rare. Yeah. Okay. So next time we come across those people, can we all be little more compassionate towards them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. That's all I had. Uh, again, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Jazakumullah khairin wa shukran jazeera. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.